Teen tolerance. In there? Teen yes. tolerance. It's, it's the uh, same yeah. t shirt. And I see some signatures. On it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who did sign yours? Our Molly friends. And, and me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Dear mom and dad, this is my third day in the camp and I did so many interesting things. Jim told us practice English for these two weeks so I write my postcard in English. Jim is our grandfather in the camp. First evening was treasure hunting and it was me who found the treasure. I helped two girls from Kosovo to make our website. I write to ask question circus night. Did you like circus? What did you like the most in the circus? Right for volleyball, football, baseball, disco night, casino night, everything. One, two, three, four, five. Every day we sign the board. What? We want to do in the morning. Gabby's favorite is Ultimate Frisbee. It's a mixture of basketball, American football, and soccer. I'm not homesick. Everybody is here. Molly is the camp director. She helps us every day and play with us like a friend. It's a game that nobody knows, and it's a game where everybody is equally a beginner, and they can all start at zero. And, and build and grow together. Students come from countries and experiences that they know and they're proud of and they're, they want to share with everybody. But that separates each of them. And by putting them in, some, in situations that are new to them, giving them something they've never done before, like I said before, makes them all equal in something and makes them all in the same position of learning something together so they can make mistakes together. They can understand what it means to make a mistake. And now if I feel silly making a mistake, I'm not going to laugh because he made a mistake because I know how he feels. And that is a big part in, in getting kids comfortable with each other. Dear mom and dad, I will not believe how much friends I have. We sleep in an international room and we make our projects with another team and I have my English classes with those kids who speak English like me. So I know all the camps. Initially, it depended on countries who, for historical reasons, have disagreements with their neighbors. My name is Sarah. I'm from Serbia. My name is Adelita. I'm from Kosovo. My name is Flori. I'm from Botoshan, Romania. My name is Venera. I'm from Kosovo. Good morning, Bulgaria. Dobro utro. Dobro utro. Good morning, Serbia. Dobro jutro. Dobro jutro. Too many. What is our friends? Yeah. Lucas, Galena, Precious, Tyra, Jacob, Kitty, oh, Adrian, Vanya, no. Vivian, there are much. I think a lot of, a range of children can really benefit, um, but our, see, our, rec our recommendations are children who have some potential to be leaders, they don't have to be there, who have some English, so we have something to start with. Um, but they don't always come that way, <laughs> and um, we succeeded with them anyway. <laughs> we take them where they are and move them forward. We have different levels of English here too, so the children who don't speak much English soon make friends with each other, and the children, we have some very fluent children this year as well, they make friends right away. Plus, the teachers start making friends because teachers usually work by themselves. They have to plan their lessons. Maybe the director shows up and says, do this and this. So everybody's making friends all the time. So half of what I do is just walk around and watch everybody get to know each other. Every morning when we play, the English teachers learn how to teach us. Joe, the Hungarian teacher, is my friend. We, Joe, often go to the beach together. 
main Balaton beautification project with the campers. In one early mo morning, we, we pick up the litters from the beach to make it clean for others. And he invited everybody to water park. During dinner at the camp council, each group sent a delegate to tell the other what is good and what we have to change. Now, everybody is excited because tomorrow the U.S. ambassador is visiting us. We have children who come who wouldn't have the chance to ha experience what we offer any other way. And th that it might change their lives and give them ideas about what they could be or what they could become. It's very easy, just do this and we are flying. I don't fly, I don't. Come on, just fly. How often do we have to discuss this? You are a boy and you're not doing ballet. <laughs> you're mom. going to become a technician or something. No, mom, I will become a ballet dancer and not a soccer player. What we're doing here is exchanging ideas. We have brought many kind of new teaching techniques and they are sharing ones that they already use. So together we're building a whole uh, new array of teaching. They pair with someone from another country. They work with a class that's, that, that's combined of children from all the countries. And they prepare lessons for them. And they choose from the things that we have, the, from the menu we've offered them. They make selections from the menu and you add their own ideas and seasonings and use that to develop a lesson plan that they do with the children. Um, today what they're doing is um, working on language that will help them if they're in a bullying situation. If they know how to deal with it in words instead of fighting, then that's going to reduce the violence. What we try and get teachers, I think young teachers, to recognize is that their first job is to make sure that everybody in the classroom um, feels comfortable enough to be able to take risks. And once they feel that way, um, they are much more willing to try English because speaking a language really means taking a risk. English, yes, English is an objective of ours, but our bigger objective is to teach tolerance to these kids, is to teach them to listen and to understand. Oh, <laughs> you look like a girl. <laughs> On our culture sharing night, which is I think only the third night here, every country put together a little presentation to share where they came from. Uh, one of the teachers from Hungary sang songs with his kids, but Lorenzo from Romania was involved in that performance as well. Lorenzo's dream was to play the acoustic guitar. He's 11. Lorenzo saw a guitar for the first time in his life when that Hungarian teacher pulled out his guitar. This teacher saw Lorenzo's interest and invited Lorenzo to play the guitar with him in the Hungarian student's performance. So Joe the teacher sat down with the guitar. Lorenzo was on this side of him. Lorenzo's arm was around strumming the guitar while the teacher played. And when that performance was over, Lorenzo's eyes just welled up with tears. And he came and sat next to me and he said, my dream came true. <laughs> it is the 12th day from 14. We will have a talent show tonight. We will sing in a band. Yes. I will sing at the guitar. And he will sing at, I don't know. It's like... It's for bicyclettes, it's do thing. It's, it's, it will be funny. But for, oh, yeah. <laughs> for, for me, it's hard to teach the song, but okay. Good. That will be great, I think. First time we, 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 we think with, uh, with the press, so, you know. But I was so happy, and he was so happy. Yeah. You know, because my, my father free. began to cry. Yes. He was too proud. And when my, when my mom said, because he began to cry, I began to cry too. 
He's proud about me and this is a good thing. This is a good thing.